Welcome back. This is pretty even though. I'm just worried that Galaxy Race are going to get run over. But other than that, if they can get past the laning stage, it's looking real strong for them. As soon as I say that, it's just going to evaporate. But <laughs> that is still holding its point that I've been seeing many... Uh tries mid one is he actually just dead the double stun combo yo cam that is a lot of damage that he was not expecting lacrity though getting a little low you're an invoker though. you're cross -wax. you got a little bit of that extra regen kp they got the cold feet proc galaxy raised up it's quite the start for the landing stage here my good sirs they got three kills already to their names it's got another round of the lightning storm up pretty soon alacrity runs in the Little nook here, but it's going to make it really easy for Nia to get the connection of that split earth. Just constant aggression coming through. I don't think they'll be able to get the kill onto Roji. Surely not. Oh, uh, pop your one for your st stun. They're going to dive. Cost him his life here, but at least Troll doesn't get any of the experience. I mean, you just see the strength that KP has when he gets his uh, few points in the poison attack. You know, you can't run away. You've gone these builds that don't yet have the boots on uh, the Wraith King, so you're very easily able to be kited around. He's eventually got the phase boots, but it wasn't enough. Again, mid, mid one. Oh, no. He's going to lose his life and Roji will one. fall, yeah. This offlane is just causing so much chaos right now for SMG. Was that a pun? Maybe. Wasn't intended, but like now you bring it up, we've... We'll just roll with it. I'm gonna roll with the kill on, on In Your Dreams. And now, you know, Oracle... Like, you don't really want to position this early mid lane. Yeah. Ice Blast. Yeah, they find Nia in the tree line. It was trying to juke around and, and play with that edict little nook there, but he's gonna get brought down. It does cost Mizu his life. But I'd say you're pretty happy with getting the kill on the Lesh and also finding our food. You know, Dyer... It's kind of low on mana. He doesn't have enough to be able to cast the battle trance. With a few spells, he should. Oh, that's a long-range but... stun. Roji needs to get involved. Hex, great use of the stun lock from Yokam will prevent the false promise from keeping mid one potentially alive. Mid one? Not again. He's actually trying to man fight. Mishu's got an illusion rune though, so gets out of the rune and mid one's committed way no. too deep. Here comes the support rotations pop. and mid one. That's your fifth death of the game. SMG, they're gonna going try and in. swing on over. We got some backup in the supports. Yokem will just sacrifice his life. It's a bit of a streak that's gonna get claimed. They might get Mizu as well. Nice sidestep, purifying flame. Gonna go on the tree line. Mizu back oh. to safety. And they gotta be careful oh, wow. how deep they dive. Mizu's no. gonna try and look to turn a lack of the TP and KP's even gonna look to show up as well. But oh, four man. four man tornado from Alacrity burns all the men off. They just can't dive deep under the T2 tower like that. They'll finally get the kill on Neo. As In Your Dreams gonna chase the rest of SMG away from their side of the map. Get away from my objectives. Get away from my team. And this is now Radiance as well for In Your Dream. They've caught out another. They'll squash the bug. Make sure they guarantee that kill with a finger of death. Mid one's gonna show up, but like, you don't wanna show up. You got Battle Fury. You want to be farming. Whereas in your dream with Radiance, he's happy to fly. Oh, no. Ice Blast, Roger needs to get in position for the ultimate, but he used it as soon as the Ice Blast got connected. So the timing might not be on point here. It's gonna expire first. Yep, there you go. Yeah, too soon. That's what we were talking about. They were trying to bait Polo with a little bit there with the use of the Ghost Walk. And they're gonna find KP. He's gonna go underneath the Cold Feet. They'll take the Oracle though, that's just as good. Get rid of all that sustain. They haven't killed him up just yet. And they've gone a little bit deep. Invoker on the front line is not what you want here, but the extra stuns and damage. Lesh doesn't use any ability. It's incredibly lacking right now from SMG. Neo getting control of the higher ground. KP will lose his life as well. But now they'll turn their attention to mid one with the Ghost Squad drop. Meatball on the ground as well. Yokam, great blink on four. It's going to be able to set up for the Sun Strike. The damage is not enough. So mid one's able to get back to safety here. Wraith King. He can join them with a TP. But mid one's still not in fighting shape right now. He's actually going for Sanj and Yasha. But jump Oracle. on Roji first. Jesus. Dyer's Obliterated is the Oracle. There's the vessel. Now they're going to jump the back as well. KP will lose his life. And meanwhile, a perfect simultaneous jump from Yokem means they'll control the Nyx Assassin. 
And Yokem's also trying to get set up for a pickoff potentially. And moving down, Alacrity. Very far on the front line. Tornado's gonna try and disrupt the start here from SMG. But get on top of Polison. Ice Blast still gonna fly, but Neo, even though he's protected with the BKB, the physical right click's coming through. It's too much for him to handle. Now they're gonna look to turn. Controlling up the backline, mid one. He's still got Roger nearby just in case he needs to try and drop the ultimate here. But now with the ultimate, Cataclysm's gonna fly. Troll. Using that battle chance, moving on four, but he's completely kited. The disarms are coming out. They've got him dead to rights. And they're also going to be able to catch out too. What an earth spike Double from Yokem. Again. There's just nothing that it feels like SMG are able to do in this game. They're getting completely outplayed. It's a triple for in your dream. Potentially with a crafty way to de defend this high ground. But you're down 13,000 gold. Like, there's not many ways you can really push back and maybe oh, get no, this game to uh, an even stage. I was about to say, your carry is 1-7-0, it's probably going to be worse soon. Mid one's just going to get caught out. Nia will try and protect him. Battle Trance still available here for mid one. Four staff, try and get the Invoker out of harm's way. The Psalm will come through as well thanks to the Deafening Blast. And now with the Blink Forward, Yokem, great Earth Spike Stun once again. A multi-hero from him. The backline from Galaxy Racer just will tear apart the supports so they cannot protect the Leshrac and the Troll. If he gets anywhere close, that range on the Reality Rift is so big. Gotta be a bit of a worry. Even turning off the Radiance there was in your dream. Turns it back on to engage on onto KP and they already burst down the Leshrac. This one's over. Yeah, they just drop it. You have to, when it's looking this grim, you gotta call it quits and you know, don't lose that mental aspect of it. You know, if you, you stay in a little bit too long. On the draft, I'm gonna say SMG, but man, Galaxy Racer's team fight coordination has been good, so it's hard for me to call. He might be in a bit of trouble here though, as he gets the tail off. One. Talk about not needing much, that level two with the spin. Well, they oh, missed the stroke. stroke I think the Blade right. Fury is going to be enough, and Cast yeah, it is. You see. I think he needs the boots now yeah. at this point. <laughs> you know, you're starting to build up the levels there on mid one. Uh, two points in the X Well as well. Very big spike in damage as well as the stun duration from that. Oh, in four, your dream! Level three. Oh. He made a big mistake there. He teep it away from the rupture, but. His TP back to the T1 tower was in such close proximity that he still took damage from it. So KP oh, chases no. him down and Polo gets killed too. Channel point betters in shambles. <laughs> Yo, yeah, he's been able to get another good lockdown that might have overlapped the uh, silence a little bit there. The dream call be enough to take him down. No, no way one. he survives. Oh, it's a natural step. So they'll lose Neo, they're going to lose Roji as well. Great plays from Yokam and Co. to kind of lock Galaxy Racer in place. And they're still grouping up. I love this from Radiant. Yeah, Mizu's got Ravage. Phoenix is very close to the six. They're not going to have a Josh yet. He's shy 13 experience for the Supernova. A great silence on three. Thanks to the Blood Rite. They're looking to chase on four. Mizu's incredibly tanky. Now with the Sunray heal as well. Mizu turns back around. We'll slow him down. Can they bring him through with the pure damage? Blood right just off the mark, but it looks like Nia. He's got the damage to come you through thanks to the Astral Step. Matter of where we just saw them flying around and picking up crap in the Roche Pit and giving vision as Nia. Supernova back up, ready to roll here. Arfu's gonna try and move on to deal with the egg, but Mizu, great protection with the Ravage. Allows Polison's ultimate get popped here, and they're still gonna try and take the fight, but the Omni Slash mid one's ripping them apart. He gets a couple lucky crits with the Maelstrom proc too. Polo TP up, one more swipe, not enough. Mid one, little bit too late on that. Near a couple of times now, he's been caught out with, uh, you know, not amazing survivability. He's the Ravage onto the Tidehunter. He's gonna get up onto the high ground on the enemy side Black of these. That jump is really far away from the Tide. It's gonna cost him here. Miss Execution paying drastic here in this team fight. They switch up the Ravage along with Eclipse. Double Earth Spike Radiant. They're going to look to turn around, but now mid one showing up. So Galax Racer, they're going to get back to safety. That's all without the Juggernaut. And they find three here. And now they can move that into the tier one. Team fight? Or was that like yeah. a, a farming? That was using the team fight in a dream. TP, Remnant. 
Got him. Cancel the TP, ready. They're coming down, but they're too late. And they don't have ultimates as well. Ultimates ready, except for uh, the Mortimer's Kisses by the time the team fight breaks out. The uh, Soulbind will be available as well. Mizu? Come on, they're keen to fight. Good popped. Alacrity once again. A great coil silence. Earth back from Yokan. It's on multiple heroes. But the damage is non-existent at the moment without the ultimates and without a farmed Luna. He's going to try and dive deep out of the town. Look at the Maelstrom Ink Spell. Oh, Stun nice. combo. That's beautiful. Again, it's on three from the Lion, but it will not matter. We're seeing some incredible stuns. But it's SMG that are looking to run over this early game. Four Supernova, not using the Stun Ray. In order for Galaxy Race to be able to bring this back. I say bring it back, it's only a 1k net worth lead, but things should Bingo. be going Big even one. more in their favor. Double yours after the Soulbind gives mid one some space to be able to get the healing ward along with the Blade Fury, and they turn. It brings down Yokan. Miz is still in the back line. Ravage is available here. They need to get rid of the healing ward, and they'll do just that. Now with the Ravage going to get popped, they know the Blade Fury's on, on cooldown for a couple extra seconds. Mid one needs help, but he needs it now, but can he get back to safety? Inkswell gives him the movement speed. They're going to try and drop the clip to Koi once again on multiple heroes from Alacrity. They're going to go back in on mid one. It's a Blade Fury damage going to be low. enough to be able to turn it. Mid one, is just taking up the right clicks, blink on fourth. They even drop the Supernova. We saw a not so great performance on his puck the other day. This time around, multi-man dream calls every single time. Go okay. Cam. Real good for it. Great Hex stops the Remnant. They still get the Rupture out nonetheless. They're going to try and look to turn. A little bit of life still coming through from the Mask of Madness. Sunray as well in your dream. Fighting conditions at the moment. They even get the Fire Spirit, so they can't man fight in your dream. He just sticks his ground like a Luna's supposed to do. And there's no extra follow-up. But great silence on top of the back line prevents the Grimstroke Void Spirit from being able to counter-initiate here. Now with the Omnisife dropped as well, but Miz was taking up all the damage. The Hood's going to get popped. Where's the control coming through and where's the damage? Mid one. That's provided thanks to Blade Fury. Once again, Yokam, a double Earth Spike. They'll get the kill. Where's the extra follow-up, though? Blackley jaunts up to the northern side. Remnant just shy. Are they going to be able to catch out in your dream as he's farming in this mid lane? No, nope, they're caught on the other side. Healing was back available. This is such a big team fight for the context of the game. Lion, caught, coil, rabbit, dropped as well. Oh, man. Eclipse, supernova, all the ultimates getting used here, but they've only found one. They'll disengage from the egg. Now this could be a bit of a window here from Dai. They've got the Omni Slash, but on the front lines are food. Cookie, if you need to get better positioning, Omni Slash is solely tanking along with the Roshan now as well. He's got the Sunray Heal, Joe Cam blinking once again with the Earth Spike controlling up bid one. They'll bring him down. And the rest of SMG, they can't control the pit. As In Your Dream stains his ground with a rough shot, kills off Roshan, but they're still hunting on Alacrity and Mizu. They'll kill off Roji. They'll kill off our food. Four down on SMG. And you just said that is a big fight for the story of this game. Phil heading into a team fight with all their, all their ultimates is so completely different than when they don't have those ultis. Polo? Gotta be careful, Polo. It's okay at the moment. Kisses should claim the life. Cole dropped on all three. Now with the BKB, means that the Luna is just freely able to right click mid. One cookie back to safety is actually going to try and look to turn to bring down Yokan. But you still got to be careful because in your dreams, in finite condition, and mid one is not. It's going to try and run down to the southern side, but Radiant, they got the Observer Ward at the moment, so they scout out SMG's positioning. Roji, Cookie, oh. further to the northern side, well, Alacrity, prime position to be able to close the distance, kill off the Grimstroke. Uh oh. He's just going to sit there. Not a choke man. It would be big if they caught out the supports. Killing what dropped instantly. Vision so important in a fight like this around a choke point. Double rupture. Double rupture. One of the kisses so far on the back line. They got the sunray here. Instantly gonna get silence off thanks to the blood right positioning. Mizu needs to drop the ravage. Gonna be able to do so. It actually clips on mid one. He needs help. The silence gonna be coming out as well with the supernova drop ready. They're pushing back Dyer. Can they kill off the egg? They can't. Dagon brings him down. It's a one for one to start, but a lot of ultimates use. Mid one push away. Finger of death. He needs help. Blade Fury blink on forward. Alacrity. Is it right clicks enough? Mid one is trying to trick and drive. He can't. Mid one will fall. And now with all those ultimates from Galaxy Racer, they need the creeps though. Link Dagger available in Yokem. They're trying to get a pick off on the back lines, but a good Observer Ward here on the high ground is going to catch out Polo as he goes in forward. Jump on forward. Triple Silence as well with a quickie fall. That's a great start from Diver. Can they bring him down before the ultimates are going to be able to come through? They'll look to turn with the blood right out. The damage is too much for them to handle. The buybacks, it's not enough. They'll try and rejoin the fight, but mid one and co will stand strong in this team fight. On the side out in your dream, gonna have to beat it, beat a TP. 
He'll make it. But what an incredible fight from SMG. They finally hit back. Like uh, Galaxy Reese, they kind of realize this. They're like, you know what? There's a reason they're not going into Roche. They've got a lot of kill potential onto it with all their minus armor. So let's try and Sansa's push the out, advantage. Sansa's out, but as well. Void Spirit going to get back to safety. Great timing of the Ravage Supernova. Egg on the high ground as well. They've stunned up the snap fights. The little shred is not enough. Let's keep it doing up there. Oh, Bloodseeker, that's not where you want to be. He'll spy the legs down. They're going to buy back on Nia. Rated. They have used a lot of ultimates. Another one's going to come through with the finger of death. But SMG do want to force this fight, knowing that all the ultimates were used. You can potentially buy back on Arfu. Mid one Arfu still has Omni. Enough. They're going to do it. But Roche is falling low. You've got to get in the area. About a third health pool still remaining. Just simply in and out. Mid one trying to man fight. He's standing his ground. But Luna has got Satanic. So In Your Dream doesn't care. And now means that mid one is away for the rest of the team. That's going to be a dieback for Nia. A great cookie stump, but where's the help? Mid one finally going to come through with the Omni Slash. They're all grouped up at the moment. Look how far they're low. In your dream, BKB Pop still looking to try and turn the satanic life. Still, it's not enough. In your dream. But try and do it all himself, but mid one, the lone survivor here. Dagon as well. Dagon, can he get it out fast enough? Mid one, got a couple teammates still up on the high ground. Bezu. indeed. Sunray healing him up. In your dream, back up, ready to go as well. So They'll tanky. push him back. KP's movement speed. They'll bring him down with the Dagon. Big one just scurrying away with his life. Eraser, though. They knew they were in a more advantageous position once that Omni Slash was used. All the damage is gone, basically. They go for the last Jeez. ditch effort to try and steal something away on mid one. Alacrity, he's got coil. Oh, they break it. Oh. It's, it's an Agatha's coil as well. Mid one. He's so slow right now. Look at the percent damage. Mid one's gonna end up falling, and mid one doesn't have a buyback. Get up if you can. Well, they're about to have three heroes up, but we've seen what a Luna can do when you get inside the base previously, and just these objectives get ripped apart. Tier fours are gone. No glyphs. Ancient exposed. You gotta go now if you're gonna do so. But great use of Alacrity's silence, just preventing them from jumping in. You're still going to drop the rabbit to try and look to turn. I mean, that's you. You only hope. It's a celebratory ulti is pop. Yeah. What a series from Galaxy Racer. That is a statement. 2-0-ing SMG with a new roster.